I'm Angela Simonson, and we are speaking with different organizations around the um, local area that our community engagement team support. And today we're going to be chatting with some folks from Young Life. So why don't you introduce yourselves? Yeah, hi there. My name is Chris Cummings, and I'm the area director for Young Life here on the Olympic Peninsula. And I'm Alexander Lamb. Uh, I'm a staff associate with Young Life here in SQUIM. Okay, great. So tell me, what is Young Life? Uh, Young Life is a youth outreach ministry. We uh, train up and equip leaders to go out and spend time with kids wherever they're at. And so that can look like hanging out at the skate park, going to sports games, coaching, volunteering at lunchtime with the school district, uh, things like that. Okay. Chris, how did you get started with Young Life? When I first felt called to get into youth ministry, I was invited by uh, a friend or a coworker that uh, was invited to be a leader that didn't want to be a leader. And so he, he recommended that I get con contacted with Michelle Ahrens in Port Angeles. And we, uh, I started volunteering with Young Life. And uh, I didn't know what it was, but I knew that I felt called to work with youth and what it led me into was um, seeing this approach of relational ministry in a way that I, uh, I, I didn't know existed, um, but it, uh, it ended up being a huge um, eye-opener for how I was to work with kids um, moving forward. Awesome. And how about you? Uh, so I'm a former Young Life kid. Uh, in high school, I had no connection to any church. I didn't grow up going to church, didn't have any family that were believers, but I ended up with all these Christian friends. And um, a friend of mine uh, introduced me or asked me to come to Young Life Club with him one time, and I had no idea what I was showing up to. Um, but that's where I met Chris and uh, got to know Chris pretty well um, during my time in high school. Um, eventually went to camp, uh, gave my life to Christ there at camp, and um, shortly after high school began volunteering as a leader in Port Angeles, um, both with middle schoolers and high schoolers. And then a couple of years ago, uh, Chris and I were talking about me going on staff and bringing Young Life here to SQUIM. So, That's yeah. awesome. So if someone wanted to be a part of what's going on in Young Life here in SQUIM, what would that look like? There's a lot of different ways that people can get involved with Young Life, whether that be uh, prayer, uh, being on our adult committee, um, or working with kids directly. I'd say probably our greatest need here in SQUIM right now is positive adults who love Christ, love kids, who are willing to spend time with kids uh, and just share, share their lives uh, and share their faith with them. Um, we've got a lot of kids who I've gotten to know um, personally and, and have built great relationships with, but quite honestly, there's far too many for me and, and the leaders that we have now uh, to reach them and meet all their needs. I think there's a real hunger for kids to find community and find uh, adults that can help them walk through some of the things that they're dealing with, whether that's as a uh, fully committed volunteer leader or even just a club helper that comes to our weekly outreach events um, and helps things like run games or brings food, helps set up uh, different things and clean up afterwards. Well, it sounds like there are some amazing opportunities that are here in SQUIM. If you are wanting to be a part of Young Life Ministry, you can reach out to the front office here at DCC or from our website, click the Serve button. Well, I just want to thank you both for coming here today. It was great to learn more about Young Life. Thank you. Thank you, Angela.